Hey everyone, this is Tom from Learning Encounters again. We're about to have a, a lot of fun. Uh, this is one of my favorite products. Uh, it's a great learning tool. It has so many uses and it's just plain and simple a lot of fun. I'm talking about the MicroBuer 200. It's a digital microscope. It, it's kind of the next evolution of microscopes. It's not the, the microscope that we're used to where we go into the lab and we look through and we have a couple of lenses and we see just uh, a small section of things and, and it's very hard to adjust. This is kind of a way better feature. It's, it's plugged into a computer. Everyone wants to be on their computer now and it just has so many uses I can't even describe them all in a short amount of time. It's pretty much as simple as taking our software, downloading it, which takes literally a minute, plugging your unit in and start having fun. And again, on our website, we have a lot of uh, experiments and things that you can do with this as well. It's great for home, classroom. It's great for hobbyists, collectors. It has just a ton of uses. So let's get on to having some fun. Basically, this is it. It's a USB microscope. It just plugs into your computer. And one of the main features about this is you can go all the way down to 20 times magnification, which is excellent for um, art collectors, coin collectors, stamp collectors. They can really inspect their goods. They can authenticate things. It's just a perfect tool for that. And then on the more scientific end, we can take it up to 200 times, which really is getting close to uh, cell level. And then we do sell another product, the MicroGuer 500, which actually gets us there but it's just basically for educational use. So let's see. My partner John, he was fortunate enough to give me a dollar to work with. Uh, it'll be the last time he sees that puppy. But I'm gonna put this down here and I'm gonna focus on the dollar and you can see that's what we're looking at at 20 times. Now this is uh, George Washington's eyes of course and uh, I'm gonna go over to some of the smaller things on the dollar bill here. There's some uh, literature down here that's very small and very hard to read. And if you kind of go to the outside edge here, it looks just like a pattern when you look at it with your naked eye. You can get a little bit better view of it. I've also uh, borrowed some stamps here and uh, I'm just going to kind of set it down on a stamp. And one of the things I noticed about the stamps is when I went to see the uh, letters and numbers on the stamps. I actually couldn't see this with my eye, but you'll notice that it says 2007 down there in the corner. So that's kind of cool. I mean, you can look at coins, you can look at autographs, you can do all kind of things with this thing. And right now we're again at 20 times. That's what we're looking at. And if I just stick this on my tongue, and I'm just barely, barely starting to focus it, You can kind of see all the bumps and things on my tongue. Kind of gross, kind of cool. Looks like a big piece of cauliflower that's kind of got juice in it. But that's cool. I mean, you can, there's a lot of things to be learned from things like that. So what I'm doing to focus this is I'm just turning this ring here. So if I drop it back onto the dollar bill and turn it, I can focus it at 20 times. Also, what I can do is there's a button here this button, boom, I just took a picture of what I was looking at. I can save these pictures wherever I want to on my computer. I can take a picture of anything I want to simply by pressing that button. And pretty much like any other piece of software, it's just you find where you want to save it to and you save it to there. Also, we can take videos. So we can take a two or three minute video of an insect crawling by at high or low magnification or whatever you want to see that's actually moving and you want to inspect later. So that's kind of a cool feature. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bump this baby up and we're going to go to 200 times. Total different feel. Now you're looking at the dollar bill at 200 times. You're getting into some pretty fine detail here. You can see how we've lost Washington's eyes and now we're just looking at little blotches of ink that make up the drawing on the dollar bill. Again, I'm going to move this over to the stamp. And now you're actually seeing the pixels and the color of the stamp. 
you can't really see an object, but you're just seeing all the little pixels that create up the color of the stamp. And that's pretty, pretty well detailed. I can go back to my tongue. If I can see it. And you can really see detail. And another thing we can do is I'm going to go up to my head as well. And basically this is at 500 times. And these are the hairs of my head. Hopefully we won't see a little dinosaur or anything walk by. That would be kind of scary. But basically you can see that I am for sure getting gray. This verifies that. Very cool tool. A lot of things you can do with it. A lot of fun. Go to our website, learn more about it, see some of the experiments you can do. Good for the classroom, good for other classroom, just a good unit.